Good morning everybody, it is Sunday morning with the angels, your Sunday morning live for some inspiration for the week ahead and to really just uplift and encourage you on your journey as we are facing a brand new week. It is Sunday live, Sunday mornings with the angels and please let us know throughout the broadcast if you are here, say hello and join our community as we raise the vibration together. And so this week's inspiration is with Archangel Gabriel again. And while I was preparing this morning, I really just want to share with you this morning that you matter. And it doesn't matter what you've been through. Hello Lorraine, I see you. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what someone else told you that, that hurt you or that you have been rejected or maybe you feel that your dreams are not working out and that, and that it's just worthless or you feel that perhaps life is too much of a struggle and it's just not worth it anymore. I really want to say to you this morning that you matter, your dream matters, you matter, your soul matters. This journey that you are experiencing on this planet, that matters. And how differently will your life look if you say, I know I'm experiencing this challenge at the moment. I know that I have faced this rejection. I know that that proposal was a no. But you know what? I matter. In the eyes of God and in the eyes of the universe, it all matters. Because it matters that you gain from your experiences soul learnings and that you are alchemized into pure gold and that you are getting more and more equipped to walk this journey, to get closer to love and light and to get richer with experience and fulfillment and manifestation to allow you to have an abundant journey. So I want to share with you and tell you that you matter this morning and it all matters. And no matter what happens, it is how you ask for help, how you ask for support, how you lean into the divine beings, how you lean into your intuition, how you lean into love that can assist you to rise up above it and gain so much from it because your dream matters. Archangel Gabriel always suggests to me that um, a new understanding makes your future bright. And if you've given up on your future or you've given up on your dream or you feel that it takes so long, Ask for a new understanding. Ask for new eyes to look upon this situation and see it in a different light. Perhaps new energy, perhaps new motivation, perhaps a new way of thinking about it, perhaps just refreshing about it. And so this morning I want to share with you at the Angel Summit, of the previous year, Archangel Gabriel gave us all a beautiful message which I have written down. And so I will put it in a blog, but I want to read it for you as we encourage each other this week to keep on following that dream because you matter. And so I'm going to read that message that we've received at the summit. And I'm reading it word for word as it was received. From Archangel Gabriel. I hold you in amazement and wonder. See who you are, how creative and uniquely chosen for your purpose, your story in this time. You have the chance to do something amazing, 
I assist to bring you gifts of passion, opportunity and inspiration. Believe this, dear one, and dare to step into what you believe to only dream about. Hold your vision. I bring the message. It is follow your dream. Thank you. Thank you. That was from Archangel Gabriel. And so in the light of this that came through in preparation, let us see the cards from Archangel Gabriel for this week. And the first one was blocks lifted. So previous obstacles came from fear and they are now lifted away. So what will happen this week if you believe that there are no more blocks in your path? What will happen if you tackle that project or that proposal or that request as if you don't fear it anymore, but as if all blocks have been lifted from you and you can say, I can do this. I can pick it up again. I can revive it again. I can do this. And then you move straight ahead with it. What will happen this week if you believe that your blocks have been lifted? And then, in case you feel you want to take it back, <laughs> yes, maybe day one works well and day two works well. And then maybe here by the middle of the week you start going, uh oh, but is it really like that? So just in case you get there, the second card was let go. Release the desire to control the situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. So blocks lifted and letting it go. So let it go. Do what you can. Follow the divine guidance at the time. Follow your intuition and then let it go. And then if nothing happens yet, let it go. Let go and let God see the outcome unfolding for you, yes? So the minute you get despondent, you go, I'm letting it go, yes? I'm letting it go and I'm allowing God's infinite wisdom to resolve it beautifully. Because in the first card, you've taken the action. Blocks have been lifted, you're moving into it, you follow that action from the energy of my blocks have been lifted, no, nothing is holding me back, you revive it and then let it go. And the third card is editor and this one refers to your current dream or your current project will benefit from some writing. Yes, it says your writing or other creative project benefits from outside help and support. So if you have something to say, write it out. If you feel there's a book within you, start writing it, even if it's just draft and notes. If you, I'm also getting the strong feeling of proposals, of collaboration, of getting together and writing something. And so if your dream involves anything like this, get it out there, collaborate, plan, put it together and then put it out there because it will benefit from outside help, from outside support. But you cannot receive that outside help and that outside support if it's not out there for people to see, for people to read, yes? For it to be submitted somewhere so that it can be submitted elsewhere, so that it can be transferred somewhere else. Who knows, but you need to get it out there. So it is a week of knowing that you matter. 
It is a week of following your dream. Even if no one else believes in it, even if someone else believes that it's totally ridiculous, you will never make money. It will never be successful. If it makes you excited and you feel scared and you feel uncomfortable and you just know that you know that you know that you know that this is where you want to go, this is what makes your heart sing, and you believe without a shadow of a doubt that you have the universe's unconditional support and love, then lean into it with love and faith and trust in your dream. You matter, your dream matters. And what a beautiful message, you know, we've received from Archangel Gabriel. So if you've just joined us, hi Sharon, hi Di, hello Jill. If you've just joined us, I want you to encourage to listen to the beginning of the message um, this morning as we received some dream inspiration from Archangel Gabriel. Your blocks have been lifted. Let it go now. Don't control the outcome. And move forward. Get it in writing. Get it out there. And you know when you do put it out there, even if it's a blog, if it's a message, if it's a proposal, if it's a collaborative event, before you start writing on it, bless it. Before you send it out, bless it. Let it go. Don't try and control the outcome so that the universe can assist you and all you do is you tune into your divine guidance. You tune into those little nudges that you receive and that's how you know how to take action. A week with inspiration and motivation from Archangel Gabriel. Believe in those dreams because you matter. You are so, so worth it. And you have to believe that in order for it to be true for you. If you don't believe it, you will never see the evidence of it. So you have to believe it and lean into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so this morning, I've got the soul lights back. <laughs> so let's quickly at the end of this video do a few few so lights so I'm just going to the beginning and Lorraine here is a so light for you I'm gonna go very quickly um, because it's so wonderful if um, to do these so lights and also you matter so let's give you some you matter food for the soul. Lorraine, I create my reality every day. That is your one. Calais, I am a huge soul in a precious body. Isn't that true? How beautiful. Jill, I do everything I can with all that I am given. Yes, Jill, that one's for you. Die. I see everyone as love. I see everyone as love. How will our life change so much if we lean into love in that way? Sharon, I cannot fail. I can only learn. <laughs> and how apt for you as you were just sharing about your dreams to write or talk about dreams. And Sharon, be sure to move to the beginning of the message once we're done. As um, I shared a, a message from Archangel Gabriel that we received at the previous Angel Summit about dreams. Christy, I am worthy and deserving. How beautiful is that? And I'm going to do one for me as well this morning. I give as much as I receive and and that is truly so and you know the law of abundance says that you know you give and you receive and you receive and you give and the more you just expand into that flow without feelings of guilt and 
if you do realize that you know asking for help and asking for support from another human being as the editor suggested yes is exactly the same as asking from the universe because sometimes God works through people who listens and so stop feeling guilty about asking and getting your stuff and your dreams and your proposals and your ideas out there if it means that you have to ask for help and collaborate with others be blessed by it be blessed by it have a beautiful Sunday perhaps you're having a duvet day <laughs> because it is such a um, like a rainy or cloudy overcast morning or oh, well that is how it is in Malpo Strand enjoy your day with loved ones just be surrounded by love and beautiful things today lots of love everybody and we'll see you on Tuesday evening for the live Q&A bye